Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see how Garage Management System uh, set of VZ works. So we got a new design. We already had uploaded a video earlier, but this is with the new design. The new design brings up a lot of uh, user interface improvement. It will give you a lot of energy when you use it because you know, there are things that are simplified. There are detailed pages uh, that makes life easier for day-to-day -day garage operations. So let's just uh, you know, go through how uh, garage management system setup process works with few easy steps. So, uh, let me just open up uh, the garage management uh, plugin. So now we have uh, the video that actually helps you with the setting up your garage management system. You have purchased it from Envato, and now you are ready to set it up once the installation is done. So we'll go to dashboard, click on setup visa, click on settings. That is where you know you will start setting up your garage system so initially it will give you all the option like you know your garage name uh starting year phone number email address all these details once you fill up i think it will set you up for your invoicing for your branding and things like that so try to add as many things like cover image uh, if you accept me payment through PayPal, uh, you add the PayPal uh, ID over there. So try to add uh, as many things as you can. Uh, we have a lot of localization options. So if you are in different time zones, like if you are in Arabic, uh, Saudi Arabia or some other countries like that, so you can set up a language, date format, the currency, things like that. You know, it's easy for you to, you know, localize as per your uh, customer's need. Uh, basically to accept the payment in your own currency to raise the bill in your own currency in your own language so all the options are given now let's just go and check access rights so in access right we have different customer uh, different user roles like customers we have employees we have support staff uh, we have admin uh, so these are different uh, user roles that you can uh, you know, customize uh, to, uh, you know, make sure that, you know, relevant people has relevant access to different modules. You can customize to give them add, edit, delete rights. They can only see their own data, things like that. Now, let's just uh, check it out the business hour. So, you here you will set up your Monday to Friday or Monday to Saturday business week. Also, your working hours. And, you know, you can also set up, a, you know, your day off, like Saturdays and Sundays are your day off. Or maybe if you are working on some Saturdays, you can also add that as well over here you can also define the holidays that you're going to have like you know you have christmas holiday or you have diwali holiday you can add over here so that you know uh, you know make sure your customers are aware that you are closed so you don't uh, you know get any booking for your car repairs uh, so here is your business holiday you can add date title description so that you know uh, you won't be working on this day and customers knows about it so this is very important module to make sure that all your appointments are booked uh, on the working hours on the days that you are working uh, without any uh, any exception so let's just add uh, a good friday as a holiday and you know uh, set up hours so nine to seven or nine to five whatever working hours you want to set up saturday sundays we have set us off uh, now we can also do so there are two payment gateways I mean the one is uh, stripe obviously uh, that you can add over here so stripe uh, public key uh, private key you can add you can also define the branches if you have multiple branches of your edge that you can define over here then there are emails that goes out from the system whenever there is a new booking whenever there is a new invoice so make sure you add up your emails over here so it's SMTP settings you have to do uh, the email templates are the one that actually you can configure whenever there is a new uh, email that goes out on user registration. So here you can customize all the communication that is happen to the customer. So you can enable, disable uh, this particular template. Uh, there are some variables as well that you can use uh, uh, when you are actually creating a template. So on successful job car creation or free service, uh, those are the templates that can be used now let's just look at the customer so we have done with the settings so all the settings options are done now we can create a new customer uh, so the setup visa sets you up uh, the whole system uh, easily so I highly recommend to follow the setup visa make sure you go through each step 
let's just add a customer's first name last name mobile number then email address you can also define the password the password once the customer receive it they will be able to log in and then change the password obviously but at the uh, in initially you want to give them the password so they are aware of uh, what is uh, their user credential there are some required fields that obviously like date of birth is optional field uh, if you want to add that's okay if you don't that's also it's okay so make sure you all fill all the required fields uh, and you know set up the system in a way that you know it can be used effectively uh, so you can also add the customers display name their company name their phone number their tax id the country uh, they are from and things like that so that will make uh, you know life easier whenever you are trying to retrieve the customer's detail and once you set up the customer it will be able to easily add uh, their vehicles uh, their invoices uh, their service uh, for a particular car and things like that so here we have added the customer uh, now if we click on that customer detail page looks like this where you can have the vehicles for that particular customer let's go back and you know complete the set of visa now we can add employee so the employees would be your technicians or you know your support staff uh, who would manage the appointments and you know do the car repairs and all those things so you will able to assign particular uh, car repair service to any employees that you create over here we will add the first name last name email obviously we'll create the password as well uh, so as you can see there are required fields and there are some optional fields so make sure you fill up all the required fields marked by star over here uh, and then you have you know mobile number and things like that and you know uh, just add their address so we have what track code whatever uh, their physical address is you can also upload their uh, you know employees emails if you want to so that's a good option to recognize any employee this is employee detail page looks like so it has all the options that we have added uh, now just go back to set up visa now let's add a supplier so supply is a crucial part because you might have the inventory within your garage uh, so whoever is supplying you this inventory uh, we can add them so the supplier will supply uh, the branded products so you know the supplier will be also money or local uh, company that will so we'll just add their first name last name mobile number again uh, and that address uh, so we can also if you want to you know raise a purchase order something this will be used uh, when the purchase order is raised for them so now we just added a supplier uh, and you know here is how it looks like you know, this is a supplier detail page now just let's just go back to set up visa uh, let's add a vehicle so you know vehicles uh, Right now we are having a service model, so just a service radio button, uh, and then you know different categories of vehicle, car, truck, or things like that. You can also add the vehicle brand, like BMW, Honda, Volvo, things like that. You can also you know select a customer from here that we just added in the last few steps. So we'll select the brand we added, then you know add the model number for their particular brand, uh, the year of manufacturing for that particular car. So, autometer reading obviously this is useful when you are doing a service. So, 1000 kilometers uh, was the reading, for example. And there are some optional fields if you want to add, that would be good. Otherwise, you can just leave them blank. Uh, you can also upload the car images uh, because if they are having some dents and things like that, you can use the car images over here. And we just done with the details. Now we can just click on submit button. So now we have added it successfully with that particular vehicle with the plate number and everything is coming up now. So here is a Volvo V40 car that we just added, some photographs as well. So this is very handy when you are actually identifying the car and doing the service because you want to know the brand, the model number and everything because it has certain uh, way of con conducting the service. So now we are done with the vehicle now we can just add particular products like you know you might have the spare parts uh, in your garage in your inventory so you might have the separate you know wheels batteries harness uh, so you can add them as an inventory so let's just create one particular uh, so we are going to add the tires the wheels inventory over here right now so Apollo is the brand uh, tire is our product 
uh, with supplier we just added so we can just add the supplier details over here whatever the color of the tires we are having things like that there are optional fields obviously uh, some you can leave blank some you want to use so we'll just add the product image so it's easy to identify from our store so we just added Apollo tire over here with the product number manufacturing so it's a brand Apollo is a brand that we have just uh, used so now we are done with adding a product and you know we can now just we have supplier we have product so now we are ready to you know uh, order a particular inventory uh, so we'll just go with the you know this is a purchase invoice number that it automatically applies so we'll select the tire supplier Mojumla, and then you know everything else automatically you know fills up now we'll just select the Apollo as a brand and the tire we'll add the quantity like if you are uh, you know uh, ordering 100 tires you will quantity as 100 uh, the price and everything comes up automatically based on our product definition so we are just raised the purchase order or more Joomla so they will receive the purchase order in the email and then they will give us this inventory which will uh, will add in our system as a intake of the inventory so this is how the order uh, looks like so we pop up now let's just go back to dashboard again see what are the steps we have to complete uh, let's go to observation library so this observation library is obviously the pain points that you know uh, like you know the this is mainly kind of uh, you know services that you you do like you know you wheel alignment wheel balancing uh, battery uh, uh, life check and things like that so those are the checkpoints that we can add uh, so there are a number of things I highly recommend you add as many details as you can over here because this is more like a library that will be used when you create a job card so you know for engine there might be different uh, observation for wheels for uh, interior of the car there might be different checkpoints so I highly recommend you add as much detail as you can there is a general uh, observation and there is per car model observation so you can want to check out both of them for now we have just added the general checkpoints general checkpoints can be available for any type of car so you know that's the easiest way of creating observation points now just create one job car so we just created uh, for the customer that we just created we have selected Volvo as a car and can assign a particular employee this particular car service you click the MOT days and wash base so that you know uh, both of the things needs to be done MOT is your car fitness basically so we just created one job car okay great so we have first step create completed for uh, this particular car Volvo V40 that's now just came for the service now we'll just add some observation like you know if the car needs if the customer complains that the wheel alignment or wheel balancing needs to be done that can be added over here so we'll just add kilometer automator value that we can add so we have just created a service successfully over here we have not added any observation but in the next video we'll try to show you how the observation and MOT uh, checkpoints can be added uh, so that you will know in more detail how the job card can be you know processed uh, through our system thanks for watching the video do subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos like this uh, and keep following us. Thank you.